back to my channel. I hope you guys are all well. So today I have a Halloween hack video for you guys. I'm so excited for this video. Halloween is my favorite season. I'm sure you guys all already know that because I've been making Halloween videos for like the whole of this month. I'm just way too excited. So if you guys are planning on celebrating Halloween this year or even if you're not and you just want to know some really cool Halloween hacks then this is the perfect video for you. If you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to smash that huge thumbs up just down below and subscribe to this channel as well as my vlog channel which will be in the corner just there so you guys can check that out. I'm actually hosting a Halloween party this year which I'm so excited about and I'm going to be vlogging the whole thing so make sure you guys head over to my vlog channel so you don't miss that. And if you guys want to see any more Halloween or autumn themed videos from me I'll leave a little playlist down below so you guys can check that out. But without further ado let's just jump right into the video. So hack number one is using a cleansing oil to remove your Halloween makeup. So the tip to remove a really stubborn Halloween makeup is to use a cleansing oil that's really hydrating. I'm going to be using the cleansing oil from Simple. The makeup that I'm removing right now is very heavy and this product is really good at taking off really heavy makeup as well as waterproof makeup. This is made from 100% natural grapeseed oil which is so so gentle on the skin and really hydrates it and leaves the skin incredibly soft. This is really affordable as well. It's only £6.90. And I know that when you have a full face of Halloween makeup, you're gonna go through a lot of this product very, very quickly. But the fact that it's affordable makes it even better. And the fact that this is a cleansing oil just means that it will deeply cleanse the pores and it will prevent breakouts from all of that Halloween makeup. Once you are finished with removing the makeup, all you wanna do is just rinse this off with some water. You can also add a little bit of water whilst you are using the cotton pads and this will turn the oil into a cleanser, which then really easily rinses away without any residue. Hack number two is making your own DIY Jack Skeleton garland. So for this you're going to need some ping pong balls, a needle and some thread. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting the needle through each of the ping pong balls and I'm tying a little knot at the end just so that they stay in place. And once that's done, what you want to do is grab a sharpie and just start drawing on your skeleton faces. I went for different expressions just to switch it up a little bit, but it's up to you what you want to do. These are so, so cute. They literally are so affordable to make and they look like they are store-bought. Hack number three is making little DIY monster treats. So what you want to do is grab a green apple, cut it in half, cut it in half again, and then start slicing a little chunk of it in the center out with a knife. Then what you want to do is grab a strawberry and cut it in half. This is going to be the tongue of the monster. I'm then grabbing some sunflower seeds and just sticking that at the top of the mouth and this is going to serve as the teeth. Then what you want to do is just finish this off with some googly eyes and that is the monster treat finished. Hack number four is making some spooky DIY Halloween drinks. You can either use a soft drink in this. For those of you over 18, this would be a really cool party idea if you want to serve shots in these syringes. All you want to do is just take some Fanta or whatever drink of choice and then you just want to suck it up into the syringe and serve it on a Halloween tray. The next hack is making a cute little serving tray for some sweets. So what you want to do is cut two oranges and then empty out the orange from inside leaving just the peel. Next what you want to do is pour some sweets of choice like Skittles or M&Ms and just fill the whole orange with it. You then want to close it shut and just display it like that. These are so cute because they look like mini pumpkins and then when you open it up you have a whole load of sweets. Hack number six is making your own DIY blood. So what you need for this is some honey and some food coloring. It's really that simple and you can make so so much of it if you need it for your Halloween costume. The texture will be more runny if you add more food coloring but if you want it to be more gooey then add more honey. Hack seven is creating some texture in your Halloween makeup. You don't need fancy scar wax for this. All you need is some Pritt stick and some cotton buds. So what you wanna do is just apply some glue to your face, make sure it's non-toxic, and then apply your cotton bud and finish this off with some foundation. Now this clip actually cut out, but this is what it could look like once you apply some eyeshadows and red lipstick. And I think it looks so, so cool. It adds a lot of texture to the bruise. So those are all of my Halloween hacks slash DIYs. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you guys decide to recreate any of these then please be sure to tag me on my twitter or instagram so i see your recreations don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it also i want you guys to let me know down in the comments what you guys are dressing up as for halloween i'd be really interested to know i don't actually have a clue what i'm going to be dressed as this year but i have to figure it out pretty soon <laughs> if you guys don't know what to dress up as for halloween i did just do a diy halloween like a last minute costume video so I'll leave that down in the description as well as the eye so you guys can check that out too. And maybe it will kind of help you out a little bit. So that is all from me. I really hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!
touchdown.